Hello everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Ohio man, and welcome to my weekly news and video roundup. So you may notice that the lighting in my room is a little different, that's because uh, I was really busy today and I'm actually recording this after the sun's gone down, so it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm addressing it, I doubt you guys even, even noticed, I gotta shave. Anyway, on to the news. The first thing I want to talk about this week is Bungie, the creator of the Halo series, because just in case you've been stuck on a spaceship for the last 10 years and didn't know that already, they're creating a new game called uh, Destiny, and there's not much known about it. All that's really known so far is that it's probably going to be an MMO, because they said that the game is social at its core, and they said that it's going to have a universe that is like really deep and relatable, and people are going to be able to get into it like emotionally, almost like the Star Wars universe, and that's what they're comparing it to. And the story is that there's an alien ship hovering over Earth and it wants to destroy it, and there are knights that are humanity's last stand to defend them, which actually sounds a little bit like Halo, but who cares if they're mixing Halo, if the game is like a combination of Halo and Star Wars, I don't care. That sounds like an awesome combination to me. But anyway, they said that they're going to be announcing, not announcing, they said they're going to be talking more about the game at uh, the Game Developer Conference. GDC for short. Doesn't matter. They said they're going to be talking about how they created the world and like the world building process and what goes into it. And even though, they, even though that's what they're going to focus on, they'll probably announce a few more details about the game. Or at least I'm hoping. But um, yeah, that should be interesting. And it's something that I think people should start like looking more into. Because if what they're saying is true, they're saying that it's going to be like... How Halo was like a game changer when it first came out, like consoles, first person shooters that like really revolutionized that. If they're say they're saying that this game is also going to be a big game changer, so it's definitely something that at least should be on your radar, even though it only covers 25 feet according to Halo, 25 meters. Crap. Messed that reference up. Anyway, on to the next bit of news. Dead Silver, who is the publisher of the Dead Island series, Dead Island really didn't get that great reviews, although some people said they liked it. it. It had a lot of bugs. But this isn't a review. Dead Island's coming out with a sequel. It's called Riptide. And they announced a special edition of the game that's coming to Europe and Australia. And the, what was special about this was that it was coming with a statue of a bikini-clad female torso. But it had, like, a decapitated head and the arms were dismembered. And apparently some strange people were upset by this and deep S no not deep silver was it deep silver yeah deep silver actually issued an apology because ap apparently this offended people and they're like we're sorry we know that's a bit extreme blah blah it's a zombie game what are you expecting y you know what deep silver should be apologizing for not releasing this edition in america because i had no interest in buying dead island riptide the sequel because never played the first one and I had no interest in buying this, but I saw this, I'm like, I want to buy this, like, give it to me now, and then I saw it said Europe and Australia, and I was like, <laughs> so yeah, you should work on releasing that over here in America, and don't worry about the people that are, like, arguing about it. Their opinions really don't matter that much anyway, I mean, I'm pretty sure the people that were complaining about it are probably the ones that already were going to get it anyway, and they're just like, oh, this looks controversial, let me write about it, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to them, I'm sure most fans will want to get this edition of the game. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't mind seeing that every time I walk into my room. Every day. That's a pretty nice statue, you gotta admit. And speaking of things I wouldn't mind seeing every day, Jennifer Lawrence won the Golden Globe for Silver Lining Playbook! Woo! Yeah, she won the Golden Globe for lead actress in a comedy or musical, which why they group comedy music together, I don't know, but she still won, so it doesn't really matter. And actually, when during her acceptance, bleh, during her acceptance speech, she said, oh, what does it say? I beat Meryl. And a lot of people just thought it was a cute little joke that she was seeing, like, how she beat Meryl Streep. But actually, it was an obscure reference to a movie, uh, The First Wives Club. It was, like, a line in the movie. I'll post a link in the description to the scene. But that is awesome. Making obscure references, you'll probably find out eventually that I make obscure references all the time. And that's just one more thing to add to the list of why Jennifer Lawrence is so awesome. Also, apparently she had the flu when she won, and I did not tell that at all. She is a trooper, and that is something she should be applauded for. And one last thing I want to talk about this week, IMDb screwed up big time. Destiny's Child singer, Michelle Williams, there was apparently Michelle Williams and Destiny's Child, I don't know, I didn't pay too much attention, but she said that she's suffering from depression, and on IMDb, 
they put this article about the Destiny Child's Michelle Williams underneath the actress Michelle Williams profile. So it, I saw that, I'm like, I didn't know Michelle Williams was in Destiny's Child, but then I looked more into it and I realized that IMDb just screwed up, and that's pretty bad to screw that up. I mean, this is Mich Michelle Williams in Destiny's Child, and this is Michelle Williams, the actress. This is like a black and white issue. There should be no confusion here whatsoever. I'm not sure if that pun was intentional or not. And that's all the news that I have for this week. As for my videos, I didn't post as many this week as I was hoping to. I actually have three more Dead Space videos. I was hoping to post Dead Space on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but on Sunday and Monday, my internet was screwing up big time, and every time I try to upload a video, it just, like, stopped halfway through, so that's why there was no Jack and Daxter on Monday, and since I couldn't get the Dead Space up on Monday either, I decided to just wait, and I'll start posting them this week. So, if you enjoyed that first episode, great, there's gonna be more coming this week, and stuff you should look forward to. And also, I've got more Grid coming up next weekend as well. Um, and I should be continuing the Halo series as well. Just got to get with my friends to like continue with the campaign. And that's my show for this week. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button down below. And make sure to leave a comment down below if you, know, if you have anything to say. Positive or negative, I don't care. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next week. I don't even care that it's a Union Jack on the bikini and not the Stars and Stripes. I still buy it. Boop, boop, boop.